what's up guys this is Rani welcome back to our channel total technology this is tutorial 14 and today's topic will be on report lab and uh, to be precise uh, the the topic or the function or the method we are going to talk about that is set workspace and again this is the subsection from text object so in the last video we have seen how to set the character spacing now we are going to talk about the word space so in the last video we have seen how we can uh, like uh, give dynamic spacing between all the characters from a word okay and now we'll see how to uh, give some sort of like dynamic spacing based on some some factor whether the factor will be uh, dynamic or static it doesn't matter always the rule will be same but now we are going to concentrate on the word the whole word not the individual character so in this example the task is pretty much the same as the previous one if someone is watching for the first time this video please go and watch the tutorial 13 that was set character set character space method but we will notice that we are we are calling the set word space instead of set character space and we are increasing the spacing by a dynamic factor okay increasing spacing of of the words by a dynamic factor so so now we'll see the same thing from code so first thing first so the tutorial 14 test object word spacing so first thing first from report lab dot pdf gen code canvas then from report I think guys all of you are now familiar with all these things because I am typing this for since last one month every time so you guys should know all these things okay centimeter oh sorry so let's define an PDF file object so this is canvas and we'll give it a name like tuto tutorial 14.pdf and it will start from the uh, top position top left top left hand side so bottom up will be zero let's translate the dimension of the file with respect to centimeter units so that is going to be pdf dot translate okay so we'll initialize the text object now so pdf dot begin text like this and let's keep a name text object then we'll initiate the origin So here we'll give 10 10 okay so the text is going to be please subscribe to our channel total technology okay this is the text So let's define one for each class. Let's 15. Okay. And text dot text now set what space is going to be i into let's give one dynamic factor mm, give point 0.2 well i'm not sure whether this is going to or just let's make it like 
5 plus 1 okay and here from the outside of the loop this is going to be like pdf dot draw text this is going to be the text object like this one okay and then we need to close the pdf pdf dot save okay so if i run this thing there will be one there will be one pdf file and the spacing between all the words will be kind of dynamic so this is done there is no error means it is executed successfully so if i refresh this thing just because i am using eclipse so i need to refresh every time whenever there is a new file but if you are using pycharm you don't need that so it will happen automatically so i'm just looking for refresh see the file has been generated so let me open the file see every word has a distinguish like spacing like kind of dynamic so this is how it is we can do many things but that is not the objective we can keep some sort of color and all but that is not the objective of these things for we have already discussed all this thing in our previous classes so this is going to be very important like uh, character spacing word spacing suppose you are uh, developing some sort of nice formatted pdf report and that time you need to take care about your like um, structure of the report so first it will be left or aligned then sometime it will be right aligned and the character spacing should be uh, kind of formatted or customized and that time you should use your company format and the format will be kind of uh, uh, kind, kind of yeah, you need to translate all those uh, like formatting with respect to this sort of thing suppose your company is having uh, some sort of structuring that all words are having 0.2 inch or 0.002 centimeter gap so how you are going to achieve that you are you can use that is like specific always uh, 0 to here okay we don't need uh, like loop that time and it is going to like uh, obey the company policy or your client policy or the structure of the report so that is how it is so guys i hope you guys enjoying the series or uh, the tutorial till now because always i'm coming up with some sort of hands-on and everything is very much uh, with respect to real world use cases so i'll bring more videos uh, like in coming weeks i was busy with neo 4 gel those are actually uh, our channel member or already buy bought my course from udemy will know that I, I already uploaded like probably more than 50 tutorials on neo 4 j graph database that is going to be the huge success for me as well and as well those are watching those series will definitely gain some sort of night nice uh like and very important on niche they will develop some sort of niche skill definitely i need to actually make it a bit smaller no this is not working so what i'll do i can can keep the remaining thing to delete the remaining thing but don't worry guys i'll upload the whole code in github as well so there is no need to worry okay oh, not sure if I make it 14, no, this is fine, but how to, this is not working. Okay, sample output. So what I'll do, I'll create a duplicate slide and we'll paste the remaining thing from here we will write this from for loop only okay so let's remove this thing and the sample output let me open this thing
this is the sample output so we can put this thing here as well so insert picture well so I think this is how it is this looks good okay so that's all guys that's all for today i hope you guys are following our course and i got to so many requests so hope to see you some new members in upcoming weeks because now i'm gonna continue or probably going to be uh, regular with respect to this course uploading sorry guys because i was not uploading this course like for last uh, one or uh, two months quite frequently but now i understood that this is going to be big success because so many guys requested me and sent me email that that i should start uploading the videos again so i was busy in neo4j but don't worry guys from now onwards every week or every weekend there will be two or more videos so keep watching our channel keep subscribing to our channel keep supporting us keep start doing like keep sharing our videos to your family and friends so th this will actually helping or motivating us to create some more content or better content for you guys so thank you and thanks to everyone for supporting us hope to see in the next video very soon till then take care goodbye and have a nice weekend okay